guys, welcome back to my channel. Me, girl, Miss Chrissy, Christina with a K. Hey, Christina with a K. Hey, 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 girl, hey, boy, how you doing? How you feeling? Today in this video, I am doing an updated video on this wig on my head and I am cheesing y'all because I found a way to basically revive my synthetic wigs. This video right here is focused on this Outre Kamaya wig and I wanted to give you guys an update on my thoughts about this wig. So I reviewed this wig October 2020. Things have changed. Things have definitely changed with me. It evolved with my channel. It evolved with how I feel about wigs. And I wanted to give you guys an updated opinion on how I feel about this wig because when this wig gets in stock, it does sell out. Right now, I think it currently is in stock on a lot of websites, but I wanted to tell y'all how I feel about this wig because you're not gonna throw away another wig after this. So I'm gonna show you guys how I wash the wig. Yes, wash it. I I used to feel like I could not drench my wig in water synthetic wise but you can wash your wig so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and I'm also gonna show you guys how to bring back a little bit of curl to the wig yes you're getting a lot in this video and I'm gonna show you how you can glide your fingers through these wigs after a couple wears of being dry and ratty so if you guys want to see how I do all of that definitely stay tuned if you like content like this give me a thumbs up because I am excited and hit that subscribe button let's go ahead and jump into this video and then I'm going to wrap it up with my final thoughts of how I ultimately feel about Outre so I always like to start with cleaning off my lace. This is the point where you're going to be cleaning off any makeup, adhesive, or tint spray. You want to get that lace nice and squeaky clean. I also like to use dish soap. It works well, but that Dr. Bronner's does give it a nice squeaky clean. And you're just basically going to keep repeating this process until the lace is nice and clean. Next, we're gonna rinse off the wig and then we're gonna go in with some Brandywine products. Now this Brandywine shampoo is pretty much the key to the magic. So we're gonna just shampoo the wig. This is made specifically for synthetic wigs and I really like it because it really does soften up the synthetic fibers like no other shampoo I've seen before. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Brandywine conditioner. This conditioner right here really does soften up the wig. I think the combination of the shampoo and conditioner really makes a difference. And again, like I said, these products are made specifically for synthetic wigs, so I don't recommend substituting this part. But the Brandywine shampoo and conditioner is pretty much the magic of your synthetic wig coming back to life. You'll start to feel the wig soften up and then you're just gonna rinse it and we're going to let it dry overnight. I like to let them dry on this wig hanger I found off Amazon. I'll leave a link below to my Amazon storefront under wig essentials. And this pretty much is the next day guys. Like I didn't go in and do anything yet to this wig except just shampoo and condition it. And do you see how soft this wig is? It really does soften up the wig. So at this point you can stop here. My wigs pretty much bounce back just with the shampoo and conditioner. Sometimes if needed you can go in with that Revlon blow dryer. But because I did shampoo and condition this wig a couple times before, some of the curls did drop. I'm just gonna go in and add some curls to it. So I like these hot rollers. This is a great way to curl your synthetic wigs. These wigs are heat safe and you can use a curling iron, but sometimes that tends to change the texture of the wig and it straightens it out a little bit too much. I like these hot rollers because it's just like the perfect temperature and you just let it sit for about 20 minutes, then your wig is curled. So I'm pretty much just adding curls to the front of the wig because if you guys know the Outre Kamaya wig, it does have these little curls in the front and I'm just gonna add some curls a little bit in the back just to kind of bump the ends a little bit. Sometimes I'll let my wig sit like this until I'm ready to wear them again or I just take it out when I'm ready like after 20 minutes. So this is the final result and that's pretty much okay, it. So you guys saw how I wash the wig, how I bring her back to life, what products I use on it. In this two years, I have discovered that I have been stressing to you guys to use synthetic wig spray. Yes, use that to maintain the wig. But when the wigs get dry, when the wig gets ratty, do not, I repeat, do not throw away your wig. Wash that wig. Get this shampoo and conditioner, y'all. It's gonna save your wig. It's gonna bring it back to life. And I promise you, 
you will not be just repurchasing wigs. The fibers, as you see, it's soft. It's coming back. It's coming back to life. Continue with the serum and the wig spray. I think that definitely does help with maintaining it. But these two products right here, I think is a key component when that wig is in the closet, when that wig is on your sink, when that wig is on your couch, just sitting there dry and ready. This will bring it back. Doing this has saved me so much money with wigs and repurchasing wigs and they come back to life. And as far as these curls go, shout out to Weezy Wig Reviews because I did see on her channel a while back how she uses heat rollers and that brings these curls back. Now that shampoo and conditioner you guys did see me use, it brings these fibers back. It's not hard as you guys see, I'm running my fingers through it. I'm not even needing serum right now. I'm not needing synthetic spray. This is life. I I've worn this wig multiple times. I've worn this wig about six times. <laughs> and she still look very new. I wore this wig to a wedding. I've worn this wig out just randomly and I just worn it just every day because I like this wig. I used to use a little bit of shampoo with fabric softener, but now this is the go-to. This is the go-to guys. So I'll leave a link below to all those products. As far as how I feel about this wig, I feel like this wig, I did love this wig initially, but I reviewed Outre Brienne. And I noticed that the hairline on Brienne was a little bit better. So on this one, I'm not sure if it's just the color or whatnot. I do notice that sometimes with Outre wigs, depending on the color, you get a different wig. This is Cinnamon Mocha, just to be clear. And she's like the highlights. It's everything. I went back and I did, I think I did go back and purchase Cinnamon Mocha after my original review. But um, she's beautiful. Also keep in mind that if you do use heat on this wig, the texture might change just a tad. The texture is still pretty much the same from when I first reviewed it, but it's starting to get a little bit more silky here at the top because I have been applying heat, but that's fine, that's fine. But I still like this wig. I think if you want, you can go ahead and pluck it up. If you do wanna see my original review, I'll leave a link right here on how I originally installed this wig. But this was just to show y'all that you can bring this wig back to life and save your money. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video of how I revive my Outre Kamaya wig. And let me know what products you guys use on your wigs to revive them because y'all Y'all help me, and we I help you, you know, we help each other. Look at this, y'all. I'm running my fingers through this week. <laughs> seriously, seriously. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up for me, and until next time, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye!